So to make this absolutely easy, we need, we need to start by making a slip knot, and you can do this in whichever way you prefer. And then we chain 41 for this beanie, for the foundation chain. So go ahead and make 41 chains and meet me back when you are done with your foundation chain. So here I have 41 chains on my hook and to start row 1, we will begin with the second chain from the hook and we'll make 10 single crochets. So this is our first chain and the second chain from the hook. Make 10 single crochets in each stitch. So one single crochet in one stitch or one chain, whatever you call it. So let's check if we have 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So after we have 10 single crochets, in the next 5 chains, we'll make slip stitches. So one slip stitch in one chain. A slip stitch is just inserting the hook, pulling up, and pulling that loop from the existing loop on our hook. That's a slip stitch. So we're done with one slip stitch. We need four more. So in the next chain, make another slip stitch. Insert, pull up a loop and pull that loop through the other loop. Three, fourth slip stitch, and five. So after having five slip stitches, in the next five chains, we will do five half double crochets. So for that, just yarn over, insert your hook in that next chain, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops together. Now we need more four half double crochets. This is the second one. Third half double crochet. Four and five. So small recap, we did 10 single crochets, 5 slip stitches and 5 half double crochets. Now again in the next 5 chains we need to do 5 slip stitches. So again like you did previously go ahead and do 5 slip stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now in the next five, again, we do five half double crochets. So yarn over, insert in the next chain, pull up a loop, three, hook, three loops on your hook, and pull through all three loops. Four more half double crochets. So after having five half double crochets, we will do 10 slip stitches. You have 10 chains remaining and in all those 10 chains, you will do 10 slip stitches. So again, slip stitches, just inserting the hook, pulling up a loop and pull that loop through the other loop. Make sure you don't uh, slip stitch too tightly. So here we are at the end of row, row 1. Now for row 2, we will simply chain 1 and turn our work. From here on, for all the rows, you'll be working in back loop only for the remaining beanie. So for row 2, we'll start by making 10 slip stitches. 
So that's our chain one that we did. So let's not count that. In the next stitch, the V that you see, you will take the back loop of that V only. So insert, insert in that back loop, pull up a loop and pull that loop through the other loop. Again, in the next stitch, back loop only. So you have made five slip stitches. Go ahead and do five more. Remember, you have to do these stitches in back loop only. So when you keep your work like this, you will see two loops here, the V here. It's like the V here, like this. So choose this loop here, the V. This is the back loop. This is the front loop. So go ahead and finish 10 slip stitches and meet me back when you're done with it. So here I have 10 slip stitches done in back loop only. Now further in the row, you will start by making 5 half double crochets in back loop only. So this is my next chain. So here you have to work in that back loop. So a half double crochet is yarning over, inserting the hook, pull up a loop, 3 loops on my hook. Now yarn over and pull through all those three loops. So five half double crochets in back loop. That was my first half double crochet. I need four more. So yarning over, inserting my hook, pulling up a loop, yarning over and pulling through all three loops. Three more half double crochets. Now two more. And the last half double crochet. Now in the next 5 stitches, we'll do slip stitches, 5 slip stitches. Like you did before, just insert your hook, pull up a loop, pull that loop through the other loop. 4 more slip stitches. Remember, don't make the slip stitches too tight, because then it'll be very difficult to work with, because you're working in only back loops. So it'll be difficult to figure out where that back loop is if, you tie, if you're making it too tight. So try and keep it as loose as possible. So here I have my 5 slip stitches and now we are going to start with other 5 half double crochet. So we are alternating half double and slip stitches here. So insert your, your yarn over and insert your hook for a half double crochet and pull, pull up all 3 loops. So 5 half double crochets here. So here I have my 5 half double crochets and now we'll do 5 slip stitches. Now you'll be left with 10 single crochets that you've done in the previous row. So on top of those 10 single crochets, make other 10 single crochets. But remember in this row, you'll be doing only back loop single crochets. So in the same way, just put your hook in that back loop and make normal single crochets. So here I'm at the end of row 2 and this is how our work looks like. 
so far to begin row 3 we will just chain 1 and turn our work I would suggest you put a marker or something to indicate which is the front side so the work the side that is having this tail on the left the slip knot tail on the left is the right side so this right now is the right side now beginning row 3 we will start with 10 single crochets starting from that first stitch make single crochets remember again you have to do single crochets or each stitch across in back loop only so take that back loop and make 10 single crochets I would recommend you to count every time you do any changes in the stitches because it is a very rapid change in this pattern so it is very easy for you to skip any stitch so make sure you're counting those stitches before going to another stitch so here I am done with my 10 single crochets so let's count and cross check 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so let's go forward so now we'll do five half double crochets in the next five stitches remember back loop only so five half double crochets So I already have four, now the last one. So here I have my five half double crochets and in the next five stitches we'll do five slip stitches. So just five slip stitches, one, two, three, four, and five. So next five stitches half double crochet in back loop only remember this beanie gets its trendy look and really really nice finish because we are doing it in back loops only that ripped pattern that it gets it's because of it so make sure you're not forgetting to do the stitches in back loop only and this is my last half double crochet Now five slip stitches. Three, four, five. Now again, five half double crochets. four and five you should be left with five stitches and in those five stitches you will do five slip stitches so if, you, if you're not left with five there you have done something wrong in the previous stitches so make sure you count the stitches every time you change between half double and slip stitches so in that last in those last five stitches we'll do slip stitches again again remember back loop only and this is my last slip stitch for the row Now for row 4, chain 1 and turn your work. Now you'll repeat what you did before, just on top of it. You've done 5 slip stitches here, so do 5 slip stitches on top of them, then 5 half double crochets and repeat what you've done before. So starting with 5 slip stitches, don't count this chain, the first stitch is here. 
So just insert and pull up the loop and pull that loop through the first loop. Five of them. Three. Four. And five. Now five half doubles. Back loop only. So here I am done with my five half double crochets. Now again five slip stitches. Oops. One, two, three, four, and five. Now again five half doubles. Half double crochet is done. Now again five slip stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and again five half doubles. Four half doubles and my last half double of the row and now again you'll be left with 10 single crochets that you've done before in the last row so again on top of those 10 single crochets make 10 single crochets and back loop only so insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over and pull through both so make 10 single crochets back loop only Again, chain one and turn. So, as you can see, these 10 single crochets and these five slip stitches remain constant. There will be no changes in these, this part and this part. So, whatever pattern changes happen, happen in this part. So, you alternate slip stitches and half double crochets into two rows. So, that gives this wave pattern, which really looks good. And now go ahead and repeat rows 1 to 4 till you have 78 rows. And after 78 rows, this is what my work looks like. So this is the, the top of the beanie and this is the brim. So as you can see, uh, keeping these 10 single crochets constant and these 5 slip stitches constant, it gave us a very tight top. and beautiful brim and as you can see I have marked this side which is the right side as you can see here like I told you the slip stitch end should be on my left and I'm keeping my work like this this should be on my left and this is the right side of my work this front side is the right side so now go ahead and mark it if you get confused like I have done here so now what you'll do is when you have done with 78 rows, when you're done with that, you should end with the tail on your right side. Here. So the tail is on my left and I finish my work on my right side. So now what you'll do is you'll go ahead and put the right side of my work together. Means the wrong side is going to be, going to be facing you. 
So this marked one is the right side of my work. So you go ahead and bring the right sides together and combine these two. So as you can see, by making 40, uh, 78 rows, this kind of looks like a puzzle. As you can see, these two meet each other like a jigsaw puzzle. Like this. So this half double crochet comes and meets with the space here that the slip stitches have created. So this is how you know you've done it right. So if it's if it's going like this with two half double crochets meeting together then it's wrong. That's not what you want. You want them to fit into each other like this so that you get that sequence and then you don't see the seam as such. So this is what you want. So just because we have done 78 rows, these two rows meet each other. So you're supposed to finish that set of four rows that I showed you earlier. So if you want this uh, beanie to be a little bit smaller, a, a little bit tighter, then you can make this in multiples of four. That should do. So now we are going to seam this beanie sideways. So to do that, like I told you, right sides together like this, like so. And this working yarn should be behind, like so. Now what you will do is, in the first stitch from this side, you will insert your hook in both the loops, like this. And in that first loop, you will just take the back loop. So first go ahead and take that loop. I hope you can see. Now just go ahead and take that back loop from the other side, the back side, the back panel. Just take the back loop and make a slip stitch. Again, take the whole stitch, take both the loops of this stitch and just the back loop on this stitch and make a slip stitch. Oops. Again, both loops from this panel and just the back loop. Pull up a yarn, pull up a loop and slip stitch. So go ahead and make slip stitches all across and meet me back when you're at the end. So here I am done with seaming my edges up together. So here I'm done with seaming my edges together. And a little tip if you are not able to uh, identify which stitches to sew together, I would suggest to use stitch markers at the end and the beginning of this these two rows so that you know where you have to put so you can use them in between so that you don't lose track of any stitches and you don't miss out any stitches so it's very important to sew the same stitches on either side and th there should be 40 uh, slip stitches that you have for the seam so now after completing your seam you can go ahead and uh, pull out a lot of yarn like so And go ahead and trim this end. To make it more secure, I chain one and then pull out that yarn. So that chain one gets me a nice tight knot over here. Now grab your darning needle Now grab your darning needle and put this yarn through this Put this tail in the darning needle and run it across these 
stitches here so this is where we finished and this is our tail this is where we finished now go through these bumps here that have been created just run it through this loop just like so all across the top of the beanie once you run it across the whole top just pull it a little bit and uh, you'll get something like this and then make a knot and hold these two together this these this opening together and just run it through one end and another and now turn the beanie inside out like so and there you go your beanie is ready so that's all you need to do to make this lovely unisex wave beanie you can also attach a pom pom on top before seaming up the top of the beanie but i choose to keep this one without one If you liked my video do like and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.